So that's the basic tutorial that we're going to do. Go ahead and open up your computers. My name is Will Borden. These are all the different themes that you guys can choose. You've I work with before. teachers and students. Oh, you're talking about changing it to portraits. To find different ways that technology can enhance their learning. Oh, that looks good, Kelly. I was in a car accident in 1993. My leg ended up being broken so badly that they couldn't, they couldn't restore the proper blood flow. So we needed to amputate. And I would make it a little bit smaller. It was difficult in the beginning. You have to kind of learn to walk all over again. I just want to see what it looks like if we can. No, see if your desktop doesn't put it in the pool. Right, what we want is it in the pool. The foot itself is, is, is quite comfortable. It's a total game changer as far as I'm concerned. The first, the range of motion that you have in the ankle. You know, if I just go like this, and you see how the foot will go down and find the floor? That ability for the ankle to articulate, I haven't had. I've been an amputee for 17 years. If you're going up hills or down hills or upstairs, to get that range of motion back in your ankle is, is a huge breakthrough. I'm wearing a robot, essentially. I'm bionic. It's this blend of math and science and science fiction kind of all coming together. I lost my uh, biological legs in 1982 from a mountain climbing accident. And uh, I've been on a lifelong mission to advance novel technologies to enable both myself and other amputees to walk uh, more, more freely, more naturally. My name is uh, Hugh Herr. I founded a company called iWalk. And iWalk uh, advances robotic, very high-tech artificial limbs to allow people to move again. I'm getting a tremendous amount of energy, power from the ankles, which enables me to walk uphill with a perfectly erect posture. With conventional technology, when I walk up a hill, it's laborious. We're giving huge amounts, enormous amounts of energy and power from the trailing leg, so the leading leg doesn't hit as hard. Tell me if you can feel what I'm changing here. Yeah, that's a good power. The system is motorized, and the power supply is a battery. The systems have uh, five computers and 12 sensors, so as I walk, they're continually sensing the ground surface and adapting to the ground surface. It's absolutely wonderful. The guts of the biome is a core technology, so we will use that core technology on other products, the foot, the ankle, the knee, the hip. Yeah, that feels good. What you're starting to see is amputees no longer are hiding the artificial limb. They want to celebrate not only human beauty, but machine beauty. And the fact that they do have an unusual body, but it's not ugly. It's functional. It's beautiful. And when you finish, go ahead and log out. This class is over in one minute. I would truly feel like by wearing something like this, I'm going to have less problems as I get older with my back, with my hip, with all these other things that might happen. You're taking something that people perceive as a handicap, um, that you're you know, disabled. And in a way, now you're turning that on its head. It's like you are enabled.